Silicon Angle and theCUBE's live coverage from South by Southwest is brought to you by Powered.com. Social media marketing evolved. For more information, go to www.powered.com. Mark Hopkins of Silicon Angle. Alright, I'm going to pass it on to Michelle Greer, last year's overall winner of the Texas Social Media Awards. Hi everyone, thank you for coming. And I uh, hope you're enjoying yourself. It's really dark. Um, okay. Um, so, Evan Jenkins of Tiff's Treats. Yeah. I don't think they're going to last very long. Um, uh, you probably know her. Uh, Callie Lewis of Geek Brief TV. No worries, lady. Thank you for coming. Okay, so uh, Doug Ullman and the Lance Armstrong Foundation team. You need to be, thank you for beating up cancer. I'm not a fan at all. Uh, Hugh McLeod uh, of GapingBoy.com. I'm trying to analyze what's going on. In the but we're knocking it out of the park in Austin. Um, uh, second, and, and this is where you come in, our, our audience, the, the Austin American Statesman's audience is the biggest it's ever been. Okay? And we're, we're growing faster than we've ever grown. And that might be in non-traditional ways, but I don't need to tell you, you're a non-traditional crowd. So uh, we're, we're, uh, we're picking it up on Twitter and on Facebook and on other ways that have allowed our audience to be the largest that it's been ever. So that's, we're proud of that. And then finally, uh, we are committed to our calling, to our mission. And that is to make our democracy better by shining a bright light in dark places. Now, may, some people might say that a tweet at midnight is not a substantial enough way to deliver serious news on sobering topics, like health like the marriage ref. But we, we disagree, and we are going to reach people wherever we can, however we can, on their terms, and you're a big part of that. Whether it's our Sunday newspaper, our iPhone application, or a tweet from our newsroom, we are still doing what newspapers do, bringing you accurate, verified, and timely journalism. And, and finally, I just wanted to say a little bit more about social media and, and how it plays in the States and the newsroom. Um, take you back to February 18th, uh, a Thursday, Robert? Yeah. So we were, um, our folks were in their normal 10 o'clock news meeting when a guy uh, decided to uh, crash his plane into the IRS building up in northwest Austin, seven or eight miles from there. Um, we've got the, the fastest, uh, best photographers in the, uh, in the state, and I think probably half of them are here tonight, it looks like. But 
but before they could even reach the scene, we were receiving photos from Twitter. We also, in a direct message from Twitter, were tipped off to the manifesto uh, slash uh, suicide note that the, uh, the guy Joe Stack wrote. And, and to our knowledge, we're the first newspaper in the country to post that. We got millions of additional pages that day, achieved an all-time traffic record, and did that in, in, in good part because of our relationship with our readers. Our social media audience feels like it's part of what's going on, that we're participating in a conversation with them, and not like the old days, delivering a sermon. And that's a big difference. We have, we've reached levels of engagement through social media with our audience that we've never, ever had. And that's making them feel like they're part of what we do. And that is good, good branding, it's good loyalty, and that's good for the newspaper. So we are delighted you're here. Uh, we take full credit for the weather. And now for our overall winner. And this is a surprise. The person does not know that he or she is one. Everyone's heard about this uh, company, and uh, you probably checked in when you got here today. Yeah. Our winner is Josh Williams, the uh, co-founder and CEO of Lolo. So his company, Gawala, you probably have heard about it, um, is, is a little Austin company that's growing incredibly fast, and I know they have a lot of uh, big things happening right now. Um, so I'm going to let uh, Josh talk a little bit about uh, why he did this, why he built this application to start with, and uh, where, where it's going. Uh, thanks so much, Robert. Um, I'm flattered. Thank you all. Uh, I, I, I want to thank my wife, first of all, because this normally we come to South by Southwest, and she and I are able to kind of hang out. and. Uh, <laughs> Just enjoy it, and this weekend has been a little bit not hanging out and more just uh, running around putting out fires. And so she's been had the patience of a saint, uh, not just this weekend, but for the last um, really uh, six months, if not two years, of kind of watching us build this company and, and chase the dream. Uh, and a big thank you to the city of Austin for. Uh, opening your arms and, and welcome, welcoming us as we've uh, started to build this company here. When we um, decided we were going to build a location, you know, location-based social network, we just we realized that we needed to be in a place that had really great locations. <coughs> and Austin, yeah. Austin is bar none, probably the densest uh, uh, quality of, of really great places to go out and check in. So we're we're thrilled to be here and, and honored, Robert. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you to all the winners, and thanks to all of you for coming. Uh, we have the place for another 40 minutes or so, so hang out, um, enjoy, and uh, come by and say hi. Thank you. All right. And come get a cookie, too, from uh, Tiff Streets. Okay, yeah. Hey guys, let's do a quick picture right here.
like, that guy deserves the social network award. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got like a thousand of these things, so I've been like poking them out. That's the way to go, man. That's awesome. Alright, hold it up, Mark. Yeah, yeah, drop me in here. Alright, Brian, hold yours up. Yeah, we go, wait. Wait, what? 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 These are awards. They're made of diamonds. Look, Mom, stop. Endangered diamonds. You've made it. harvested with leprechaun blood. They're very precious. Dude, I'm glad you graduated.